the West Island, there's around 40 kilometres of watercourse which is polluted by abandoned metal mines. And the issue we have with coal cloth is the surface water which readily erodes the spoil heaps and the dressing floor and picks up a lot of metals which get into the system. The metals have a negative impact on the river ecology, so your river flies and fish populations. It's also transporting a lot of metal-rich sediment down through to the South Tyne. The main sources of metals in the watercourse are cadmium, lead and zinc. Starting right at the top of the valley, the surface water comes off the hill and runs into the discharge coming out of the mine workings. It's very difficult for us to actually know how much contamination is coming from which particular route. So we need to put works in place to separate those flows so we can then monitor the individual flows properly and find out where the worst contamination is coming from. And then the water then runs straight across the existing access track. So we, we need to make that physically stable so the water goes back underneath the track again in a proper culvert. And then we're putting in place a concrete canvas line channel to hold the water in its correct alignment and transport itself straight down to the bottom of the valley without coming into contact with contaminated materials and without causing erosion. There's a big spoil heap right next to the river which is very steep and is unstable and has slipped um, so it has a big exposed face of spoil material that continues to fall into the river periodically. So the idea is to trim that back to make it a more stable landform and to provide it with a geotextile cover to cover over the exposed spoil and allow vegetation to become established on it so that it's stable in the long term. And there's also, once we get onto the bottom of the, uh, the site, the floodplain, there was a big area of spoil where the old dressing floor of the mine was. And so that spoil has all been moved back up slope away from the river, so it'll be stable in the long term. And some big rock rolls put along the bottom to protect the toe of the slope. Then hopefully uh, specialist plants will recolonize and form an area of interesting calaminarian habitat on that area. There are a number of constraints to the whole works around environmental um, issues, including the rare plant species and the, the lichens. The boulders that were found near the river had rare lichens identified on them and they've been placed away from the river so they can continue to be undisturbed. And there were also traces of water voles have been found along the river throughout the site so it was recognised that they were going to have to be protected during the works. And then finally, the site is an old mine site and there were features of archaeological interest likely to be uncovered by the works because we're having to dig channels and move spoiled material around. That exposes archaeological remains which have all had to be recorded and assessed by an archaeologist. The work at Colclough is one of the stages of the works on the West Allen catchment which will hopefully lead to a dramatic reduction in the metal pollution reaching through to the, the Tyne estuary. Mm -hmm.